Hi guys. Hi, I'm finally here and I'm so, so, so sorry for all of the delays. I know it's still not resolved. You can't really see it because you are on like the normal YouTube. However, behind the scenes, like YouTube analytics, it's like, it's really broken. And there are a lot of bugs. So yeah, hi, <laughs> I'm here. Um, okay, so a lot of people just dropped out. I am not sure if that is related to YouTube being broken or yeah. Hi, anyways, hi, how are you? I hope you're feeling great. I hope everyone is feeling great. Anyways, as I said, I'm so sorry for all of the delays. There is many bugs and like the YouTube analytics is completely down. So it wasn't really possible for me to turn on ads or anything on this video. I couldn't even edit some of like the time and the description or anything. The only thing I could do was chat I could chat with you and every time I tried to connect YouTube was just like not letting me so yeah hi hi everyone I hope you are feeling amazing I am I'm a little bit hungry and I'm a little bit a little bit annoyed okay I'm a little bit annoyed because like YouTube was not really helping me at all and also I just want to say a lot of thanks to Marty and Riley. Thank you so much for supporting me. It really, it really makes me happy. Thank you so much. So yeah, anyways, as I've talked about before, I'm, I'm soon, I promise that I'm going to get a new webcam soon. I haven't, I haven't yet gotten to it to, you know, get a, new webcam but i'm going to so i'm going to get or purchase a new webcam because like this quality is really bad so i'm going to try to upgrade to some better equipment so yeah i'm going to but i haven't yet to so you'll have to wait This webcam looks very decent. Um, it isn't like the web, like the quality is like super, super low and bad and really butchered. But yeah, so I'm going to purchase another one very soon. I haven't yet to, so yeah. Anyways, I hope everyone is feeling great. You are so beautiful to me. Thank you. I'm hungry too. I'd rather watch you to go eat lunch. <laughs> I, yeah, I actually had dinner before, but I didn't eat enough. So now I'm just like hungry. But yeah. <laughs> the lightings are better today. Okay. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know. Like the lighting is not that great. But as I said, I'm going to upgrade to better equipment soon, I promise. Uh, YouTube is very laggy, it's cutting every second of the video. Oh, that's not good, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, YouTube is not at its peak right now, I can't do anything more. I didn't want to just like cancel the live stream. Um, I didn't feel like a lot of you really waited. Like a lot of you waited for like 20 to 30 minutes for me to start. So I didn't want you to, I didn't want to cancel it. So I'm sorry if it's laggy. Um, is, it re is it real that the estrogen doesn't affect your voice at all? Yes, it's it's real. You're not lagging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. No, stream is just fine. We'll probably on on that. Oh, okay. No lagging. It's working for me. Okay. That's great. 
Hello from Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> Hi. Hi from Sweden. Gothenburg. You look lovely today. Thank you. Why are you canceling? There's no problem with the live. I'm not going to cancel. I I just stated that I'm not going to cancel. I just want to let you know that even though there are some problems and some difficulties behind the scenes, I'm still going to try to keep this live stream going. I want to talk to you guys. And yeah, I've seen a lot of questions popping up while while I waited because I've been here. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes just waiting to get it on like to to get the live stream online so i've seen a few comments one of the comments that i saw was is live stream live streaming pressuring um no except when it's like this when the live streams are are like this it's kind of pressuring and like annoying because I couldn't get it online and I really wanted to you know go online and talk to you guys oh yeah also if you haven't if you haven't seen it um I have a new second channel where I only do live streams so if you're not yet subscribed to that uh, to that channel and if you like live streams I'm going to do more live streams on there I'm still going to do daily not daily I mean weekly live streams on my main channel however I'm going to also try to make more and create more live streams on my second channel but my second channel is called Matilda streams so yeah maybe i can pin it um effie are you able to do like a link to my second channel i will really appreciate it sims forever yes i sims for forever yes i i feel that i'm thinking about coming out soon but my parents are very transphobic been going over over all of your old videos for support are you you are amazing thank you so much and i'm so i'm so incredibly sorry for your struggles and for you struggling with coming out to your parents i really i would really recommend you to get yourself a support group and tell like come out to people that you are very close to that you trust so please try to come out to friends and like family members that you know will accept you no matter no matter what so yeah and then maybe you can build up the courage to then come out to them as well and maybe they will surprise you a lot of people i know a bunch of people when when they haven't really realized what it is all about they have a they struggle with understanding it but um i'm sorry um some people really what's oh my god i lost my words I, I i saw a comment i'm sorry um some people when they're not educated about a topic they feel more strongly like negatively towards that topic so for example some people are homophobic until a friend comes out to them as gay because then they're like oh my god i i love my friend I, I can't be homophobic as well as friends with this person. So they change like their whole, like their whole view and like all of their opinions regarding, you know, hom homophobia or not homophobia, like gay people. Do you, do you get what I mean? So maybe they're transphobic now 
uh, when you come out to them, they will, they will accept you. I'm so sorry for that took a long time for me to explain, but I, I lost my words because I, I found a comment and I started reading it and I'm sorry, like I get distracted easily. Uh, you're an amazing, beautiful creator. I love you so much, Matilda. Thank you. It's been almost a year since on a waiting list for transition. Your videos helped me get through this. Are you planning on making more vids in the future? I love you so much. Yes, I'm planning on making more videos in the future. I have, I will upload a new video to like this main channel on Friday. Um, it's about, yeah, you're going to see what it's all about. Um, but I'm going to do weekly videos. So I'm going to do we weekly live streams and I'm going to do one video a week. I'm trans, socially transitioned fully two years ago. I still struggle with hating myself, hating that I am trans. I really, I can really relate to that feeling. I, sin I sincerely understand what you're going through, but also... I know that sometimes we can, we can really think from a cisgender perspective that we really want to be cisgender and that we're so sad that we weren't born as a cisgender person. And I get that, I, I really do. I've struggled with feelings like that myself and I've really tried to re rework my mindset uh, to be more positive, and I really get that. Please try to love yourself, and I know that that's really hard sometimes, and I know that it's easier said than done, but really try to watch uh, like motivation videos and videos where people like yourself, transgender people, talk about their own struggles and how they got through them. And I really think that, I really think that you can re rework that mindset and like rewire your brain a little bit. Cause I know I myself have sometimes when I was younger, I really hated myself for being trans, but now I, I'm very content with being trans and I love that I am part of the LGBTQ plus community because we have such a strong community and I've I've dealt I've dealt with things that not every single person has and I've grown as a person and I wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't be this I wouldn't be Matilda if I would if I were if I were born as a cisgender woman or a cisgender, you know, baby, <laughs> I wouldn't have grown up to this person that I am. And I love myself. I feel like I'm strong. I feel like I'm independent, funny, you know, I, I think good about myself. I feel good about myself and I love myself. So and I happen to be trans and you need to love every single part of your part of yourself. So I think that we all struggle with feelings like that sometimes. But in the end of the day, a positive mindset can you can go a long way with a positive mindset. Now, I'm so I'm so sorry, Jasmine. Jasmine sent me um, 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 like a chat, a super chat. And I'm so I'm so sorry for being so slow, but I just had to get that out. Hi, Matilda. Hope you're doing well. Tomorrow makes six months on HRT and I'm so excited. How How's everything going? I love your helpful videos. So first of all, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much, Jasmine. It really makes me really happy that you support me. And congrats. Everyone should really congratulate Jasmine for... <laughs> six months. That's amazing. I remember 
when I went, like when I got to the six month mark and then the 12th month mark, it really, it really feels like you're, you come a long way. And I'm so, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations on your like starting point in your transition. That's amazing. Uh, my first in real life meeting with a surgeon will be in November in Lynn shopping. Oh, oh, Gud vad kul Charlotte! Gud vad roligt! Grattis! Alltså, jag kommer ihåg hur jag kommer ihåg hur nervös jag var när jag skulle möta min första kirurg. Okay, so I just <laughs> I decided to answer her, answer her in Swedish, but I can tell you I I said that I I was also inc- I was so nervous when I was expected to meet my surgeon at first I was just I didn't yeah I was really nervous prior to meeting him and then he was a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie he was he was a bit weird but he was he was really good he's amazing uh so he did a great job but I was really nervous and then he was a little bit weird so yeah Um, Matilda, how old are you? I am 27. My girlfriend has just, my girlfriend has just started her transition. I'm so proud of her and I adore her, but I wanted to know with your experience, what are, what are things you want from a partner during her journey? Just accept her, love her no matter what, let her know that it's her body her choice she can do whatever she wants and and i know that it's it, sometimes it might be a struggle for both partners but just support support them no matter what how did your fiance propose to you so we were on Åland and it's an it's an island here in Sweden and We were there for five days on a, on the last day of our trip. We went on a walk because we go on daily walks and it was during the evening. And then he proposed when we were on a meadow. <laughs> so, yeah. Just hit four months HRT. Thank you for being an amazing inspiration to me as I, be, as I begin to full blossom into my real self. Your timeline vids give me courage to take the leap. That's amazing. Congrats. Four months. That's a lot of changes begin like are beginning to occur during the fourth month mark. So that's amazing. Congrats. And I'm so happy that I've helped you on the way. That is kind of the whole idea with my channel. I really want to be an inspiration. So yeah, I'm I'm so glad that I've helped you. That's amazing. Stories like that really makes me happy because sometimes I, it was just such a long time ago that I transitioned. And whenever you talk about it, I remember how it felt for me as well like i can i can put myself back into that back into that uh, whole um, memory or like i could put myself back there and i truly understand and know how you feel and it's really such a rush to finally be yourself Does and en- does anyone know what age puberty blockers are available and how you go about it? Um, it really depends on. It really, really depends on what country you're from. Hi, Nicole. Love you all. Love you too.
Mm. How do I start HRT? You have to speak to a gender therapist and then you have to meet up with a doctor. And congrats, Matilda, for getting engaged. You're a lucky woman for having a boyfriend as handsome as him. <laughs> yeah, aren't I? He's actually my best friend. I know that that sounds really cliche, but we spend we spend every waking hour together when it isn't, you know, working. We play video games together and walk, like go on daily walks, train together, eat together, do everything together. He, he's really my best friend. Please tell me where you birth, both, bought, both, bought your Sherpa teddy bear hoodie, sweet suit and wrap. What? I'm sorry, like, uh, what? Please tell me where you bought your Sherpa teddy bear hoodie, sweet, sweat suit. Oh, sweat suit. I, I thought it said sweet. Like, I have really bad vision. I'm sorry. Bear hoodie sweatsuit and wrap. Okay, it's from. Uh, I think I know what you, what you talk about, and it's from Mad Lady. The story is called Mad Lady. Love your content. Thank you. Uh, you're an inspiration to many. That makes me really happy to hear. Actually, that is that is all that I want. <laughs> I came out as trans a few weeks ago. My family supports me. I've been showing them your videos and they love you. That's so sweet. Congrats on coming out and congrats on them, on them, on them accepting you. That's amazing. That's truly amazing. I love them too. I love them too for loving you. <laughs> Do you recommend therapy always? It's the best. I mean... There, it's an hour only talking about me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Do you speak any Spanish? No. <laughs> Gracias. Milite. <laughs> you are beautiful. I think you would be good in the MCU as the first transgender character. I wouldn't say no to that because like the cash, the coin, I wouldn't say no to having like a big, being a big actress. How do you deal with hate personally and publicly? Personally, really, it doesn't bother me at all. If someone would be like, you're ugly and I would be like, and you're blind. Okay. No, but honestly, it, it, it wouldn't affect me. However, like publicly, sometimes it gets a bit much. I get they I I get comments daily, like hateful comments and messages. And sometimes I even get like threats. And obviously that is scary and it's really draining. I'm surprised the live has no dislikes. Matilda is the best YouTuber ever. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Um, maybe I'm going to get a few dislikes now. <laughs> it isn't it isn't the problem though, you know, any engagement is good. I'm going to be a little close. I'm sorry. I have bad vision. My eyes, my eyesight is like terrible. What was your first noticeable changes after taking HRT? I think my face, it stopped, it started getting like rounder and more feminine looking. That was the first thing I noticed or not the first thing I noticed because it happened so slowly that I wasn't really aware but when I got like when I went out and I met people they 
told me they're like you look feminine or you look like a girl <laughs> thank you so much nicole thank you so so much for always being here do you have a question you know i'm here for you girl Try pressing control scrolling my <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe I'm going to do that. Yeah, it actually helped. Thank you, Effie. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. What is the weather like in Sweden? It's cold, rainy, and not fun. Were you nervous before your SRS? No. I was more like, not so much nervous, but more excited and like, I anticipated. I, I, I had anticipated for such a long time and I'd been excited for, for it for such a long time. And obviously I had, oh, Emmy had you with that one. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Emmy, thank you so much. I'm sorry, look, my eyesight is re really terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do not quit YouTube. I'm not going to. I'm not going to quit YouTube. I have, I just made that video because I had gotten a lot of comments and messages about me quitting YouTube because I hadn't been active for such a long time. I mean, I, I hadn't posted a video for like, in like two months. So yeah, I just... I had a feeling that I needed to make that video. How do you make a relationship work when you're an introvert? I mean, I'm not an introvert. Um, okay, so the scientific term for extrovert and introvert. So an intro and a person who is in an a person who is an introvert, um, like it takes energy out of them to hang out with people. So for example, if you would go to a party, you would give energy. You would feel like you're drained when you go home. Obviously all people feel like this to some extent. You would feel like you don't have any energy left and you wouldn't be able to meet other people the next day without being really drained out and tired. So that is the like the scientific term for an introvert. An extrovert gets energy. So whenever they're when whenever they're out, they they get energy from people. They're like energized and they love hanging out with people and and they could easily hang out with people multiple days in a row without getting tired. And obviously extra extroverted people has to you know be alone sometimes too that's just very human but yeah so introvert gives energy and extroverted people gets energy from people so yeah um i just don't like being outdoors because i get a lot i get really tired thank you so much move that pocket <laughs> thank you so much and also, thank you, Eric. Your videos helped me a lot. No cap. Don't you turn your back on us, because you're the only girl that I'm following on Insta. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. Everyone, check out Eric. Um, and I'm so glad that my videos have helped me. And I'm the, the only person that you follow on Instagram, or the only girl. I'm autistic. Socializing just strings me. Exactly. I apologize. I thought you said you wasn't an introvert. introvert. Yes, I am an introvert. I'm very much an introvert. I, I don't 
really enjoy being out that much and I don't really enjoy like doing a lot of stuff outside with people. Uh, I'm starting a channel, but I'm not but I'm not young and pretty like you. Any tips on how to deal with anxiety and hate? I've gotten everything I need but courage. First of all, thank you so much, Caitlin. Everyone check out Caitlin. And second of all, you're pretty. Like, please don't ever put yourself down like that. You are pretty. And that isn't really YouTube. It isn't really about being the most pretty or like the most beautiful because then, you know, people like PewDiePie wouldn't be the most subscribed on YouTube. It's not about being pretty or beautiful. It's about being, ha it's about having a great personality. That is everything when it comes to YouTube. Instagram is about being pretty. YouTube is about having something to share and having an audience captivating enough to watch you. So, and how to deal with hate. I think it just comes a lot with being secure in yourself. Um, you call you calling fat pews ugly. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. <laughs> PewDiePie destroyed. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. Okay. Anyways, so please, Caitlin, don't put yourself down like that. And I think just being secure in yourself goes a long way. Just when someone leaves a nasty comment, remember that they, like, why would you even care of some low, like, some low lifer who spends all their time on the internet just like spewing hateful things? Like, their, their opinion is not really that valid. So, yeah. Should trans women who are post up have to tell their sex partners they were born biologically male? Um, I mean, I would, I do, or I would. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm engaged, but I did before, and I would really recommend you to. Um, I'm not, I, I don't decide over people. I'm not like the boss of everything, but my opinion is that they should tell their significant or the person that they meet that they are trans. What is an introvert? Introversion is one of the major personality traits identified in many theories of personality. People are introverted. Tend to be inward turning or focused more or internal. Yeah, an introvert is a person just who doesn't like to hang out with people. <laughs> no, it isn't really the scientific term. Thoughts, feelings, and mods rather than seeking out external stimulation. Yes. How did you go about getting your gender reassignment surgery? Um, I, I, I talked to a therapist and doctor for many years, and then I was accepted. I have many videos on that. It's a long story. It took me four years to get the acceptance, to get my gender reassignment surgery. Is it expensive to live in Sweden as a foreigner? It, it really depends on where you're from, but Sweden is a pretty pricey country. We're a pretty rich country, so everything is pretty expensive, or I've, or I've been told. And I kind of I kind of see that when I'm out traveling as well. Sometimes I'm like, like that <laughs> when I buy stuff. All congratulations on your engagement. Thank you, Katrina. 
I'm totally straight. However, I totally fall in love with trans women. Is that gay? No, it's not. I don't, I don't like those kind of comments because it kind of, are you telling me that I'm a man? Because that is what gay men, you know, like, they like men. So I don't really, I find it pretty offensive, those kind of questions. We are women, exactly. Do you live in the USA? No, I live in Sweden. My accent is not nearly as good as an American would had like my accent is really butchered and broken <laughs> how long do you wish to do live streams i'm going to keep doing live streams until i i i don't want to do them anymore i'm going to keep doing live streams as long as i have this youtube channel I prefer your accent. I don't, but thank you. Do you have hormone gel? Yes, I have. It's called Divi Gel. How many languages do you speak? I speak two languages, Swedish and English. I love your accent. It's oh it's always it's always been lovely thank you i'm trying to i'm actually really trying to get it to like i don't want it anymore i'm trying to relearn english to sound more like an american it's hard cuz it's just not natural so i'm really trying to but i as you can probably tell, I'm not even close, but I'm, I'm trying. Where did you learn English? In, in Sweden. <laughs> like, everywhere, every, everyone in Sweden know, knows English. So, yeah, that's why. I the first English word I knew were like, hi, hello, my name is Matilda. And that was when I was like four, five. Go for a Canadian accent instead. How, 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 how do they sound again? Like, how about? <laughs> How about, <laughs> like, no, that wasn't even close. I'm sorry. You're, you're a wonderful woman and great influence. How long did it take for you to learn English? Really hard. It's a real hard question because I've known it my entire life. And I, you know, I learned it while I go. <laughs> How much gender dysphoria was relieved by transition? 98% of it. Or a boot? Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> and washroom instead of bathroom. Yeah, you're talking about... Yeah, but I think I'm... No, I don't... I don't think I'm... No, I don't think I use washroom instead of bathroom, no. Once, when I was in Paris, and we, we visited like Disneyland in Paris, and I needed really, I had to go to the toilet. So I was like, where's the bathroom? And he's like, excuse me? And I'm like, where's the bathroom? And they like looked at me really weird and they're like, we don't have bath here. And I'm like, what? I'm talking about the toilet. I'm not talking about, they, they really thought that when I said bathroom, that I was looking for a bath. <laughs> I'm British and we compose English from Celtic, Latin, etc. Yeah, I'm actually watching, I'm watching Outlander right now, and 
they're they're talking a lot of Celtic. Uh, thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you. Being middle-aged and non-passable is tough, and I'm sure there are others that could benefit from my experiences, but I'm scared AF. Thank you so much for supporting me, and I think that there's there are many people who are older than me who would love to watch a transgender woman talk about her experience with, you know, with being older and transitioning and so on. So I really think that there's an audience for that. And I really recommend you to start. It's better to just start and then you can delete everything if you don't like it. But it's always better to get yourself into something. As older people say, uh, we only regret the thing we didn't do. We don't regret, regret the things we did do. So. Definitely an, an, an issue that is not talked about in so much. Yes. Yes. I get comments daily where people who are older talk about transitioning while they're older and the struggles with that and if I can talk about it. But since I transitioned when I was younger, I can't obviously talk about how it is transitioning when you're older. So there's definitely an audience for that, Caitlin. Many trans women have to train their voice to be more feminine. Did you find this weird difficult with speaking two languages. No, it really, I mean, it was, it was a struggle sometimes to um, embark on this new journey and speak and do, you know, speak very higher with like a higher pitch and do everything. And at the same time, start voice coaching and like, trying to relearn how to speak obviously that was difficult but it wasn't so it wasn't you know more difficult because I speak two languages it was just like this is my voice now when I was done I just want to say hello hello Vera yeah I'm 40 and look like I should be in motorbiking doubt I I could change appearance well. Um, gender, like not gender. I mean, HRT really changes ch changes a lot. So don't be so discouraged and don't give up yet. You look tired. Do I look tired? How? I don't have like anything underneath my eyes. I don't look tired. I look like snatched. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, for how long did you do voice lessons? Around... maybe around like three to four months it took before I was finally like finished or done. And then I decided that I didn't have to go there anymore. So that is why I quit. Like she, she didn't like throw me out or anything. I decided myself that it was, that I was done. She told me that there weren't so much more that she could do and she asked me if I still wanted to go there and I said like no I don't need to no 
No, I don't look tired. It's just dark and there and there are very few colors. So it looks like bedtime to us. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You don't. I do, however, look tired. Had eye migraine for a few days. Oh, that's the worst. I had a friend who had eye migraines and she actually like she became like blind for a few minutes because she was like the eye migraine was just like so much. Have you been in the U.S. before? No, I haven't. I haven't been to USA at all. Yeah, lose vision for a bit. Yeah, that sounds the worst. Um, also, I, I also want to add that after, um, after this live stream is over, I'm going to keep it up just for a few hours and then I'm going to take it down. However, I'm going to upload this live stream on um, on my second streaming channel then. Even, even after surgery, they recommend you to still get voice coaching. Mm -hmm. Which, like, what surgery? I do have your trans question answering of, of imitation one time. What does imitation mean? I haven't never heard that word before. You look beautiful, Matilda. Thank you. Hi, girl. Hello from Alaska. Oof, Alaska, that sounds cold. <laughs> I've never seen that word before either, lol. <laughs> yeah, I haven't actually heard that before. I've never seen him imitation. Yeah. I thought that maybe, like, I know English, like, I'm not the best English speaker, but I know English, like, I read books in English, and I watch movies in, like, in English, with, and I can understand everything, so, yeah, that was the first time I, I saw that word. Uh, thanks so much, Nicole, thank you so much for your support. Met a guy in FFX IV. <laughs> we spent much time together um, in the game and after, and watching animes in private. I told him that I'm trans, we also get married in the game. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's so sweet. I love it. Congrats. It's a typo. I hit the N and the M at the same time. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I've totally missed that. I'm sorry. I'm 17 transgender, transgender and I have no idea where to start. Start Googling gender therapist. That's the first thing. Get yourself a gender therapist. Talk to a gender therapist and they will help you along the way i promise and then thank you so much for supporting me um i love you guys so so very much and that everyone check out arsenio arsenio yeah love you matilda have to go bye liam i was so happy that you were here with us thank you My wife loves your hair now even better now than before. Thank you. That makes me so happy. I I like it more like this myself. I was really dissatisfied with my longer hair. I didn't think that it looked good, elegant. I didn't like it at all. But now I feel like it's fit it fits my head, <laughs> my face better. <laughs> my head. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, it's on my head. Hi, you and Christian should do a live stream together one day. I don't think that he would really like that. I wouldn't mind, but I don't think that he would. Love your videos. Thank you. Okay, so I'm... I actually have to go now. I know it's really sad. I my intention for this live stream was to go on longer, but then since YouTube kind of wrecked that whole idea, and I had to start like thirty minutes later than it was first intended to, so I have I have to end this live stream right here, and I'm so sorry about that but still remember this live stream will be up for a few more hours and then i will publish it on my second streaming channel and i will publish it there tomorrow or like thursday or something like that but thank you honestly so so much for all the support everyone who was here with me all of the people who asked questions i'm so i'm so happy that you were here with me and it really means so much to me that you're that you're supporting me because like because of you I can I can do this so thank you so much for being here with me and take care and also okay before I go I'm also going to do more live streams not today not today but more live streams on my other streaming channel so yeah, so if you're interested in that, you know where to find me, my other live streams. And I will do another live stream next week, uh, either on Wednesday or Thursday. But now I'm going to say goodbye right here. And thank you so much for being here. Love you guys so very much. <laughs>